Hello and welcome. I'm Scott Dennis. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. Jacqueline has a night off. Topping our news this evening, the man suspected of driving his car into a motorcycle rider in a road rage incident is now behind bars. Sarasota County Sheriff's deputies say they arrested the driver as he was trying to destroy the evidence. Detectives also saying he's an illegal immigrant. ABC 7's Dwayne Lindo is live at the Sarasota County Sheriff's Office tonight with more. Dwayne. Well, Scott, we've all seen the shocking cell phone video that garnered national attention. The video shows a motorist deliberately hitting a motorcycle. The sheriff in his press conference today saying jail is where this motorist belongs. Medrano Bodia. It was a first appearance Wednesday afternoon for a road rage suspect, 30-year-old Magdiel Medrano Bonilla, charged with aggravated battery and driving a vehicle without a license. For the victim, Darren Hendrickson, who was thrown off his motorcycle, this news was a relief. They had called me and told me that um, they were able to make contact with the suspect and make an arrest. Detectives located his car on Tuesday, which was stripped of his tag, all four doors and windows, and it was through text messages on the suspect's phone where Captain John Walsh says they learned additional information. Uh, through these text messages, uh, he indicated that he was, he was well aware of his actions and he was going to destroy the car. Sarasota Sheriff Tom Knight saying he's happy the illegal immigrant from El Salvador will not be back on Sarasota streets. Uh, we got an individual with a violent temper off the streets with the hopes that uh, he could be removed from Sarasota County, sent back to his country of origin. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, El Salvador can have him. Where Sheriff Knight hopes the U.S. Immigration and Customs can take over. ICE just finished quickly placing a hold on this individual. So this individual tries to bond out and go back out into our Sarasota County community. He'll be held for up to 48 hours for ICE to review him. And now that Bonilla is in custody, Hendrickson has a message. He didn't succeed. On whatever it is that you were trying to do, I hope you can get your life together, stand up, take care of these responsibilities, help me get my family and my life back together, and then move forward with your life. Now, Bonilla's bond has been set at 20000 but remember, through the partnership with ICE, he can be held while the federal agency prioritizes the case. Reporting live in Sarasota, Dwayne Lindo, your Suncoast News. All right, Dwayne, thank you. Sarasota County Sheriff's deputies also arresting a man accused of shooting out the window of a moving car in possession of drugs. Investigators say they stopped Christopher Long after a concerned 911 call. Deputies found meth, prescription pills, a rifle, handgun, and spent ammunition inside the car. He remains behind bars on $35,000 bond. Drug overdoses continue to decline in Manatee County. The Manatee County Sheriff's Office tweeting today, this time last year, they saw four times as many overdoses and more than four times as many deaths. Let's get a check on our weather now with Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan. Certainly a wonderful day on the Sun Coast when you compare it to yesterday, Bob. It was. Uh, in fact, uh, today, just gorgeous out there. 78 degrees, the dew point is what's so low. Look at this uh, temperature map now. It looks like a 78, 80, pretty much the same story there, Key West, Sarasota. A big difference, though, is the dew point temperature. Now, we talk about that dew point temperature. That's the point at which dew falls if the temperature to drop down to that. Look at that, 49 in Sarasota, it's 38 in Tallahassee, 51 in Jacksonville, 46 in Orlando, but 70 is a summer-like greeting, uh, 49 is a winter-like greeting, and that's the reason why it feels so comfortable out there right now. Uh, it's just uh, really dry air in place. Uh, lows tonight will reflect that, too. Got to look at this. So you're going to wake up and say it's chilly, uh, 55 degrees in Port Charlotte. That's how it's going to start tomorrow. Same in Northport, a little bit warmer in Rotunda, 58 in Venice, 57 in Osprey, and also the same in Lakewood Ranch. So mid to upper 50s, down out of the question, east of I-75, upper 50s, low 60s, right near the coast. Braden, in, you'll start off at 57. We'll have the weekend forecast coming up soon and also let you know about a cold front, which may spoil some plans. Details on that in just a few minutes, Scott. All right, Bob, thank you. A nationwide nursing shortage in schools is now affecting Sarasota County schools as well. A common misperception is that school nurses sit and wait for a sick or injured child. In addition to tending to minor cuts and bruises, the registered nurses also do case management screenings and care for many students with high-risk conditions, including seizures, diabetes, asthma, and many more. Of the 42,000 kids in the school district in Sarasota County, about 2,400 of them have one or more of these conditions. The problem? For more than 53 schools in the district, there are only 25 nurses. And I truly think that people that aren't working in this setting really aren't 
aware of what we're providing to students. And I think if they became more aware of that, they might see where that funding would be really important and really uh, beneficial. The National Association of School Nursing recommends a 1 to 750 ratio for nursing to student care. In Sarasota County, that ratio is now 1 in near, to nearly 2,000 students, depending on the school. Sarasota County Fire Department is making sure high school seniors are ready to save lives. Today, seniors at Suncoast Polytechnical High School were trained to perform hands-only CPR. The goal is to teach the life-saving technique to more than 2,000 upperclassmen by the end of the year. Those involved say they understand the importance of CPR and hope it will help them in the future during an emergency. The goal is, is to get as many citizens trained as possible throughout the community. Um, this was one big leap forward to, to train this many kids, and I, I, I heard him say over 2,300 kids, which is huge. That's amazing. Um, we don't want to stop there, though. We, we want every teacher to be trained. We would like every citizen to be trained. And there's different levels. I mean. The district hopes to also include teachers and eighth graders in this program by next year. The new estate budget was not kind to local arts organizations, lawmakers cutting millions of dollars from the budget impacting the arts statewide and here on the Sun Coast. Last year's $11.1 million budget in cultural and museum grants has plummeted to $2.65 million in this year's budget. It's money that's shared by 480 organizations statewide, meaning some places that were going to receive a $150,000 grant will now see less than $10,000. We are one of the richest arts and cultural areas of the country, and uh, the lack of funding for the state art grants this year is going to cost Sarasota County organizations about $3 million in direct funding. I've been a huge advocate and, and a believer of uh, the every dollar we put in, you know, gives us back a tenfold return, and I will do all I can moving forward to continue to fight for every dollar that I can. Bruder says between Hurricane Irma and adding resource officers to schools following the Parkland tragedy, the focus on this budget shifted. He and many others are hopeful for better news next year for the arts. Still to come in your Suncoast News tonight, the Venice Community Center set to be used as a hurricane shelter in Venice, but can it withstand a hurricane's impact? And what do local emergency officials think of that plan? Plus, the man accused of shooting up his school in Parkland could have hundreds of thousands of dollars in the bank my taxpayers may have to pick up the bill anyway. Soldiers in the Army National Guard serve to give back to their country and communities. Their part-time commitment qualifies them for an array of benefits, such as affordable health and life insurance benefits, education benefits, including tuition assistance, student loan repayment and GI Bill programs, a retirement plan based on part-time service, and VA home mortgages. Visit NationalGuard.com to learn more about all the benefits available in the Army National Guard. Picking out a new ceiling fan? That's a do-it-yourself. Installing your new ceiling fan? No. That's a don't do-it-yourself. For ceiling fans, rewires, or anything electrical, play it safe. And call on the trained electricians from your locally owned Mr. Sparky. It's no accident that so many of our customers are repeat customers. You Trust Mr. Sparky for all your electrical repairs. The Mark, Sarasota. Landmark living in the center of it all. A private oasis in the sky. Luxurious private amenities. Promenade shopping and dining. The best of downtown, downstairs. Now under construction and priced from the mid-700s. This is life, right where you want it. Call or visit our Discovery Sales Gallery today. The Mark Sarasota, presented by the Culture Group. CashNet USA is trusted by over 2 million customers. Perfect. When I lean back, I trust that you will be there to catch me. Okay, bad idea, bad idea. Apply now at CashNetUSA.com. Money's on the way with CashNet USA. Let's go right now to breaking news of a shooting that involved a police officer. It happened about 1 o'clock this morning. The investigators will be going door to door to these businesses. We've got a couple of areas of low pressure that are going to be impacting our weather. Issues in Manatee County. Congestion can avoid that and take the Green Bridge. Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. 
And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. Our overall experience working with California Closets was phenomenal. Calm, reassuring. Through happenstance, we ended up paired with our designer, Jen. She was someone who not only was patient, someone who was professional. She's become extended family. She had great insight to help direct me towards those things that could make our dreams come true. We are the Greens, and this is our California Closet story. As lawmakers look to Facebook for an explanation of their recent data breach, some local online experts say Cambridge Analytica's tactics are more common than you may realize. What we're learning in the weeks following Facebook's reaction to the data breach is that our information is not as protected as we thought. Cambridge Analytica used a personality quiz to access private information of roughly 87 million users. It allegedly sold that data to the 2016 Trump presidential campaign, and the question is, can these tools be used in political campaigns here on the Sun Coast? Well, this is where we think Facebook fails in informing their um, users of how much this information is out there and how people can access it and use it. We've all seen it. it follows you wherever you go on Facebook. It's constantly bombarding you with advertising. And that's the same thing for political campaigns, for really any big business that invests in advertising with social media. Tonight at ABC 7 at 7, Alan Cohn will be joined by a local pol political consultant on whether we're going to see these types of techniques used in local races. Stay with us. Bob's back with your forecast right after this. Fun for the whole family. The 26th Annual Venice Sharks Tooth Festival, benefiting special athletes of Sarasota County, fossil vendors, arts and crafts, food, children's games, and live entertainment with headliners the Gator Creek Band on Friday night, Rockin' Rogues, Maiden Kane, Glass Onion, Kettle of Fish, Paisley Craze, and the Boogeymen. Admission $4, children 12 and under free. Parking is free. The annual Venice Sharks Tooth Festival, April 13th, 14th, and 15th at the Venice Airport Festival Grounds. My name is Stefan Campagna. We're Ben Gates and Dramas, and here is your Law Tip of the Week. If you've been injured in an accident, whether or not it's your fault, your insurance company might be responsible for some of your expenses. So give us a call. We've got your back. The La Musica International Chamber Music Festival, the annual celebration of a distinctive cultural gem in Sarasota, with renowned musicians from around the world. April 9th through April 18th at the Sarasota Opera House. Visit lamusicafestival.org, click on Festival, open Tickets, and get your seats now. Need more space in your place? The More Space Place can help. With Murphy beds that disappear to reveal a home office, living room, or den. Custom closets with designated areas for your shoes, bags, wardrobe, and accessories. Custom built entertainment centers, garage storage systems, and more. The More Space Place has three showrooms next to Sunny's on US 41 South in Sarasota, on Lakewood Ranch Boulevard just south of State Route 64 in Bradenton, and on Tamiami Trail next to Panera Bread in Port Charlotte. Put more space in your place at the More Space Place. Choral Artists of Sarasota presents Saints and Singers. The powerful voices of the 40 choral artist singers are joined by acclaimed mezzo-soprano Amy Jo Connors, performing John Rutter's arrangements of such beloved spirituals as Joshua Fit the Battle of Jericho, When the Saints Go Marching In, and more. The concert also features medleys highlighting hits from Broadway and the sublime music of Cole Porter. Sunday, April 15th, 7.30 p.m. at First Church, Sarasota. Tickets and info are at choralartistsarasota.org or by calling 387-4900. 20 years ago, the moviegoers of Sarasota looked up at the silver screen and wanted something more. And they got exactly what they wanted. 20 years of some of the best independent films from around the world. The most iconic Hollywood stars walking the red carpet. The most glamorous parties in Southwest Florida. 
20 years building up to the most exciting announcement in, well, 20 years at the Sarasota Film Festival, April 13th to the 22nd. Well, we got some impressive rainfalls in the area yesterday and then rewarded with a great day today. Isn't that nice? Yeah, yeah. that's the way we like to see it. The front moves through, brings yeah. us some beneficial rains, although it flooded in some areas, and then the nice low, low humidity yeah. around. That's uh, really co quite comfortable. Uh, we're going to see another round of this, too, next week. So Monday and Tuesday, another uh, cool start. Uh, Casey Key webcam showing the sea state a little bit uh, stirred up as a result of the stronger winds this morning. Uh, we had lots of sunshine, though. Not much cloudiness to show you at all there. Beautiful sunset expected uh, tonight. And here are the headlines as they read. Chilly overnight for Florida standards anyway. I know it's going to be a tough struggle. We'll have in the mid to upper 50s tomorrow, but uh, it will be uh, noticeably cooler. A cold front arrives on Sunday, so big storms are possible on Sunday. It's too early to tell whether they'll be severe, but it uh, looks like we will see a uh, good possibility of thunderstorms in the mix. Two of those showers as the front moves in. Cool again on Monday and Tuesday, as I alluded to, so it looks like uh, don't put away the sweaters quite yet. Uh, you may need them tomorrow morning. Now that front made it all the way down into South Florida right now, but Key West still in that warm, moist air out ahead of the front. Some showers just off the coast of the Keys there, but nothing going on here. High pressure dominating. The evening planner looks to be pretty nice too. Uh, clear skies, and then for tomorrow, we'll see fair skies, sunshine all the way through the period. Upper 70s for highs, which is fairly typical, but it will still stay really nice. We'll start to see that humidity value come up a little bit on Friday, and especially on Saturday. Saturday will be much warmer. 78 right now, it's 80 in Key West, 73 in Orlando, 70 in Jacksonville. And temperatures everywhere pretty uniform, mid to upper 70s. We go from Avon Park to Arcadia to Northport at 78 degrees, Venice here at 78. And temperatures in the mid 70s at Cortez, 77 now in Bradenton. And the Gulf water temperature at 77. Currently, it's 78 at the airport. There's that humidity value, extremely low. Winds out of the north, northeast at 7. So those winds have abated somewhat. The pressure 30.07, and that continues to rise. The high today was right at the average, although it felt a little bit cooler because of that low humidity. This morning's low was 64 degrees. And future cast showing a uh, high pressure dominating the weather. We get that east to southeasterly wind flow on Friday that will warm us up and also bring that humidity back. A few more clouds around, but still a lot of sunshine expected on Friday. And then the storm system gathers over the central and southern plain states. This will eventually sweep a front away. I'll talk more about that in just a minute. Temperatures have really warmed up in Detroit, Chicago, St. Louis, all in the 70s right now. 75 in the nation's capital. These are highs tomorrow, I should say, uh, throughout this region. They were warm today as well, but uh, that colder air is on the way once again, though. They're going to warm up and then they're going to chill out again as a result of that. Here comes the front. Now, this is at Sunday at noon, and you can see we could see some big storms start to approach our area. Uh, Sunday afternoon, it looks like Sunday evening, the potential for some showers and thunderstorms, and then it moves on Monday and Tuesday, clearing out, turning much cooler on those days. So that's, again, our forecast. Nationally, we mentioned that snowfall that was around earlier in Michigan. It's in Vermont, New Hampshire, and upstate New York, but their winds are going to switch around, and it's really going to warm up there tomorrow. And then the major winter storm taking shape over the central Rockies. This will produce up snowfall amounts, amounts up to a foot in places like South Dakota and into central Minnesota. And now here's the forecast then uh, for boaters tomorrow. Winds out of the east turning to the northwest. Start off at 15 knots, subside 5 to 10 in the afternoon. A moderate chop on the bays and inland waters. A seven day forecast. Looks to be really nice tomorrow. Thursday, we'll start off on a cool note, but we'll warm in the low 80s. Humidity comes back on Friday, 85. And mid to upper 80s, we'll see some upper 80s to near 90 degree temperatures, especially inland on Saturday. That will be the moisture availability for the storms to move through, as I mentioned, anywhere from midday to uh, the evening hours on Sunday, and then cooler weather to move in on Monday and Tuesday. Scott? Bob, thank you. As forecasters anticipate another active hurricane season in Venice, the worry is the lack of hurricane shelters there. The city of Venice hiring a structural engineer to determine how strong the Venice Community Center is. The engineer is saying the building needs a few minor upgrades to withstand a Category 3 storm. Despite that, Sarasota County Emergency Operations leaders have said the building will not be opened as a shelter because it's on the island of Venice. They're worried the building could become inaccessible in the event of a strong storm, especially if one of the island's bridges were damaged. Venice has three bridges that, that can take you off the man-made island. 
depending on the movement of a storm, uh, tidal surge could move up through the pass and around into the area affecting bridges, boats, there's debris that can hit bridges. Sarasota County leaders say they're working to find a building off the island of Venice to serve as a shelter should a hurricane come our way. Follow up now to a proposed zoning ordinance change on Siesta Key that has sparked much controversy. County commissioners voting to approve an ordinance that would allow the county to amend the current zoning regulations there. Under this new ordinance, commissioners can consider special requests on height restrictions and setbacks for new commercial properties on the key. Many who live there on Siesta express concern about changing the current zoning rules would change the island's feel. The new ordinance was prompted after the owner of 1-800-ASK-GARY, Gary Compothecris, recently proposed building a new hotel near Stickney Point and Midnight Pass Roads. New developments in the road rage case in Sarasota County that we told you about at the top of our newscast. Sarasota County Sheriff's deputies are now charging Magdiel Medrano Bonilla with tampering with evidence. Deputies say they found him stripping his vehicle when they arrested him. He was also given two criminal citations for reckless driving and driving an unregistered car. Happening in Florida, law enforcement officers and victim advocates recognized at the state capitol today. The event, part of National Crime Victims Rights Week, six people were given awards for their work in helping assist crime victims across the state. Florida Attorney General Pam Bondi talked about the hardships crime victims go through. The ceremony's keynote speaker was stabbed 32 times by an ex-boyfriend and was able to recover. She now works as a counselor and advocate for other victims. Domestic violence needs to be taken seriously. It is very dangerous and there are a lot of myths, stigmas and victim blaming associated with abuse. Domestic violence truly does not discriminate and can happen to anyone. Next week, Florida's Constitution Revision Commission will consider a proposed constitutional amendment which will give victims of crime and their families more of a voice in the criminal justice system. Accused school shooter Nicholas Cruz could be worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. That's according to the public defenders working on the Parkland shooting case. But the majority of that money is caught up in claims against his late mother's estate. Mr. Cruz does not want those funds. Whatever money that he's entitled to, he does not want that money. He would like that money donated to an organization that uh, the victim's family believes would be would able to facilitate healing in our community or an opportunity to educate our community. Until the case against his mother's estate is resolved, they won't know how much Cruz and his brother are actually worth, and taxpayers may end up picking up the bill. The judge overseeing the case will make a decision regarding Cruz's legal payments by the end of the month. And we'll be right back. Tonight, you've seen more horrific images of children and families in Syria. Is the White House set to strike? Plus, the president's attorney raided. Will he tell the special counsel you're fired? World News Tonight with David Muir, America's most watched newscast. Outdoor living is one of the greatest perks about living in Florida. So whether this is your style, or this, or maybe this, contact Superior Pools. They've been building pools from Sarasota to Naples since 2001, and they would love to build yours. I heard about the Detoli Cancer Center through friends of mine who had been treated here and were very pleased with the treatment. If there is prostate cancer, we at the Detoli Cancer Center will find it using 3D color flow Doppler ultrasound. And that helped precisely identify where my cancer was and some additional cancers that were not found during the biopsy. I would recommend the Detoli Cancer Center. As a group of human beings, they are unbelievably great. Rugs as art. You know the name. You know the building. But do you know what's inside? Yes, Rugs as art is Florida's number one area rug superstore. But there is so much more. Amazing furniture accessories, and art. All this and more. Come see for yourself. You'll love our personal touch and be pleasantly surprised by our affordable prices. Rugs as art and more. There is so much more to explore. Set your course for a waterfront lifestyle on Florida's last private island. Discover one particular harbor by Margaritaville. Nearby sugar sand beaches are as easy to find as the warm Florida sunshine. Waterfront residences from the high 400s overlook beautiful Anna Maria Sound and a new marina with direct access to the Gulf of Mexico. Plus, incredible savings on move-in ready homes. Come tour designer models today. Visit ophmintousa.com now.
When money's tight and emergencies arise, CashNetUSA.com is available 24-7 to deliver quick loans for approved customers when they need it the most. Apply now at CashNetUSA.com. Money's on the way with CashNet USA. Outdoor living is one of the greatest perks about living in Florida. So whether this is your style or this, or maybe this, contact Superior Pools. They've been building pools from Sarasota to Naples since 2001, and they would love to build yours. Manatee County is now being recognized as the 25th Purple Heart County in the nation. The county will be installing parking signs for Purple Heart recipients at six libraries and 42 county parks and public buildings by next week. All those signs will be donated by the Wounded Warrior Family Support Foundation. We talked to a Purple Heart recipient who was a first lieutenant in the Vietnam War, and he says he's truly grateful. Well, that would be a very nice convenience. I appreciate it, and I think it's nice. I've never heard of another county in the United States doing this. This is the first time I've ever heard of it. Well, the property management department in the county is also donating their time and will be installing those parking signs for free. They're going to get great parking spots at all those facilities. At least we can do, right? That. That's very yeah. good. Good story there. Uh, good story weather-wise. Fair tonight. Uh, may need a jacket, a light jacket, wow. or a sweater tomorrow morning to start things off. Mid to upper 50s uh, to uh, warm into 81 by the afternoon. And another rain chance this weekend. Yes, yeah, Sunday. Okay. Thanks so much for joining us. World News Tonight with David Muir is next. Our next news at 7. Motor Trend said the new Alfa Romeo Giulia is hands down the best sports sedan you can buy today. And named it the 2018 Motor Trend Car of the Year. Rediscover your passion for driving at Sunset Alfa Romeo of Sarasota. Being the caregiver for my husband is truly a blessing, but sometimes it's easy to lose a part of myself. To be my best, for him and for me, it's important to have time to be able to recharge. When I called Tidewell Hospice, they gave me the chance to do just that. They helped me find the time to care for myself, all the while with the peace of mind of knowing my husband is in the very best hands. Tidewell Hospice, it's more than you think. The Wild Broadway series brings you Funny Girl. Fanny Bryce dreams of being famous and through sheer guts and determination becomes a star of the Ziegfeld Follies. Playing March 28th through April 15th, it's the songs and story that generations have grown to love. Call the Player Center at 365-2494 or visit us at theplayers.org. Don't rain on my parade, come see Funny Girl. Today, everyone is looking for carpeting that lasts longer. G Freed has you covered with Karistan. With a legacy of quality and integrity, we provide you with a huge selection of Karistan carpets with exclusive lifetime limited warranties. All installed by our highly skilled, highly knowledgeable team. Come ask us why Karistan is the best and most durable. G Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. Picking out a new ceiling fan? That's a do-it-yourself. Installing your new ceiling fan? No. That's a don't do-it-yourself. For ceiling fans, rewires, or anything electrical, play it safe. And call on the trained electricians from your locally owned Mr. Sparky. It's no accident that so many of our customers are repeat customers. Thank you. You Trust Mr. Sparky for all your electrical repairs. Sparky. My California Closets designer is a rock star. She was able to design the most beautiful space for me. When I turn the lights on, it's breathtaking. La! It's just a little slice of organized heaven. The California Closet team was so professional, so reliable. It was seriously a dream come true. My name is Jill, and this is my California Closet story. When evaluating the Alfa Romeo Stelvio, Car and Driver Magazine said every crossover should be this good to drive. We agree. Rediscover your passion for driving at Alfa Romeo of Sarasota.